everybody, Jason Wright here with another episode of Threatwise TV, and this time I brought in a longtime friend of mine, Meg Diaz. Meg, thanks so much for coming to the show. Thanks for having Welcome. me. Welcome. We're going to get you a hat as soon as possible. If I got you one, would you wear it? Do you think you could rock that? Oh, yeah. You could rock the hat? Yeah, I totally. Think, I think it looks great on ladies. But we're going to talk today about uh, improvements that we've made to Umbrella. Yes. One of the best technologies that we have. I still say it's the easiest security technology you'll ever deploy. Right. I say the same thing. All right. Yeah. Good. Good to know that we're in line since, yes. you're, since you run marketing for it. Yeah. But uh, we're going to talk about uh, some of the improvements and enhancements that we made. We continue to make stuff better. We don't just sit on it. Talk to me about what we've got going on. Absolutely. Yeah. So there's, a, there's three main things that we've done. So first, we now have an integration with Cisco SD-WAN. So that's yes. huge, right? Because of all of the transformations that are happening, especially at branch offices and those branch networks. Yes, and at time of filming, we're very close to the SD-WAN launch. Yeah. And so we're talking about all the new security features that are coming along with that, with URL filtering and, and application-aware firewall, intrusion prevention, and Umbrella will be a part of that launch as well. Exactly. So Excellent. now we have that integration where you can add cloud-delivered security. So you get DNS layer and web security that you can add on there and get that additional protection for those branch offices and roaming users. Outstanding. So that's number one, SD-WAN improvements. Yep, that's the first one. The second one is we now have an integration with Meraki MR. Okay. So we have the fantastic wireless access points that you get with Meraki MR, and now we have a super easy way to add security on there. So you can now, and, and it, what's great about it is, first of all, the this the steps to actually integrate them, it's like four steps that you do to integrate the two products. So okay. you're adding security very simply to those wireless environments. Excellent. And then within the Meraki dashboard, you can actually enable umbrella policies. So when you're okay. configuring those those wireless environments, you can very simply deploy umbrella policies there and do it based on, you know, SSID or using the Meraki group policies. Right, instead of having to use the, the a separate console for the entire policy. Exactly. All right, nice. I like the unification. Bringing our management consoles together is a very important part of the development that we're doing. A lot of people don't know that, but exactly. it's important we're working on, on those things. All right, What? Uh, so that was number two. What's the third one? The third one is we've now integrated CASB technology from Cisco CloudLock into Umbrella. Okay. So that's huge because now what we're able to solve is one of the big challenges that customers have is around shadow IT. Yes. And figuring out what are those apps that are being used and then being able to actually block them. I ask people all the time, how many of you think you have, you know, less than 10 or less than 15 apps? And most people raise their hand. Average industry stats are around 25, 30 different apps that are being used in, in enterprise environments. So a lot of shadow IT and we're not even knowing what we've got out there. So the CloudLock technology is helping identify those and even set some policy and security, some security functionality around that. So that's integrated now with Umbrella. Exactly. Excellent. Yep. So right in the Umbrella dashboard. And that's what I wanted to show you Fantastic. today. Fantastic. All right. Let's take a look. Okay. So what are we looking at here? So this is the Umbrella dashboard. So this is kind of the, the overview page. And what we've now done is within the reporting page with Umbrella, we have the app discovery report. Okay. So this is, you know, fully integrated from CloudLock right into the Umbrella UI. And so what you're able to see here is, first of all, across your entire environment, these are all the apps that we've discovered. Okay. So you can see there's over 3,000 cloud apps that have been discovered. And then you can also see what what is kind of the, the status of them. So right. you have the ability to actually use kind of a workflow to actually de decide, you know, are there unreviewed apps or are there apps that are under review right now? So okay. should they actually be allowed or blocked across the environment? So that's what you see here. And then there's, there's other trends that you're able to see across your environment. So this... One in particular is showing you what's the, uh, you know, the, the number of requests going out to these cloud apps that okay. we're seeing. And so we can see that there's a, a bit of a spike here. So if we, if we drill down here, we're going to see all the apps that were seen on that particular day. This is starting to look very familiar from the CloudLock interface. Um, I'm seeing the, the similarities being built, brought in. Yep, exactly. And so you can filter it down. So let's say you want to look at apps of a particular category, like Anonymizer. Okay. Right. So these are apps that basically act like a, a VPN yep. that people use to bypass security, which if it's my environment, I don't want that to happen. Yeah, hiding IP addresses, hiding their true source, encrypting traffic, all these things. Exactly. So we can see that in our environment, there were seven of those apps that were identified. And what we can drill into is, is so CyberGhost is one such anonymizer. 
And so if we click on this, what we're going to get is we're actually going to be able to see in here the risk details about the app. So we're actually showing the risk information about a particular app. Why should you care about this? Why is it important? What potential dangers does this bring to your environment? Exactly. Okay. And so there's a few different factors that go into the risk. So first there's the business risk. So with this, we're actually looking at the Talos web reputation okay. and then also the financial viability of the vendor, Love it. of the app vendor. Then there's the usage risk. So how, how often are, are people using this? And then there's vendor compliance. So that's looking to see, did the app vendor uh, meet any sort of compliance requirements okay. for the app? Excellent. So that's how it's calculated. And so if I decide that, first of all, you know, we can, we can review and, and determine for our organization, should we allow this app? Mm -hmm. And if we decide that it's not going to be allowed and we want to block it, we can do that right in here. So if we click block this app, that's going to take us to the umbrella policy page. And right from within here, we're going to see CyberGhost would show up as the app, mm -hmm. and we decide to block it. And then we click save, and now across our entire organization, we're going to block access to that particular app. Nobody's even allowed to get to it. Exactly. All right. Very simple, yeah. very straightforward. Love that. That's very, that's beautiful. And this is going to help just have a whole another level of application control in these environments. I used to demo that a lot from our next-gen firewall. Yeah. Now we're showing it from SIG. It's a very important aspect of SD-WAN that we talked about earlier. So all great things here. Exactly. Fantastic. All right, Meg, thanks so much for coming by and showing all of this. It's exciting to see some of the development that we continue to infuse into our products. It's not just about buying technologies, but about putting them together where it makes a lot of sense. And in invoking CloudLock with Umbrella together obviously makes a lot of sense, a lot more visibility. Fantastic news here. New developments continue all the time, so keep tuning in to ThreatWise TV. In the meantime, if you want to learn a little bit more about this technology, go to umbrella.cisco.com a whole host of resources that you can learn about what I still say is the easiest security solution you'll ever deploy in your network. For now, I've been Jason Wright. Thanks for tuning in to ThreatWise TV.